Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. and today's video will be relatively short. I want to discuss just two little things with you. Number one would be uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Thanksgiving Day uh, sales success. I just want to thank everybody uh, for uh, who participated. And even if you didn't participate, even if you browse the website, I appreciate it. Uh, it. It means a lot to me that so many people on Thanksgiving Day, you know, just like I'm sure a lot of you, at least in the U.S., were with your families or getting ready, making dinner. I was making turkey. Uh, and, you know, I sat there and at 1 p.m., you know, me and a couple other people uh, around the country were all <laughs> focused on one thing and that's pushing the sale live and making sure everything goes smoothly. So thanks to everyone that helped me accomplish what I wanted to do. Uh, you know who you are. And thank you to all the customers again and everybody that made it a big success. Yes, I sold as much as I thought I would uh, with growth from last year. I'm very happy. There were a couple of duds, and maybe I'll go over those in some future videos, try to push those out. Uh, but all in all, extremely happy, very successful. And then the second thing I want to discuss and then show you is I got a new watch. Uh, I was very excited. I've been looking at this thing for a couple of years already. I've wanted one for a while. And it's a watch I sell, and when I thought it would, I thought it would sell out over uh, the Black Friday weekend. It didn't, and I was thrilled that it didn't. I wasn't offering any sales on it, but you know, a bunch of them moved. Uh, so I grabbed one, and I will just review it, you know, just for two minutes. It is the Squalimatic Blue Polished. Uh, it's a 44 millimeter watch, which is pushing the limits of what I can wear comfortably, but it doesn't matter. The watch is, it's beautiful, and I love it. And then. Oh, my other wrist today is the 1521 blue polish. So those of you that aren't a fan, I know there's a lot of them out there, of the double branding on the dials, I'm wearing four. Oh, there's even a logo on the side of this one. So I'm wearing five Squally logos. Uh, I'm like a big Squally commercial today. Anyway, I'm going to just show you this watch uh, just really quickly, a little twisty turny, and check it out again. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, I do appreciate all the excellent business. So because it's my watch, I'm going to mix things up. I'm going to start with the wrist shot. Uh, it fits great on my wrist, and I'll go over all the specifics and sizes of the watch in a minute, but is that not beautiful? I absolutely love it. It's certainly, certainly going to be a very welcome addition to my collection and probably will be in the honeymoon phase for a long time. So the Squalmatic lineup was released a few years ago by Squall. I want to say 2000. Uh, 15, 2016. So this is the blue, which is generally the most sought after model. There's a bunch of different colors. There's a black satin, there's a black polished, there's a navy blue, which is much darker than this one. There's a chocolate color dial, you know, like a brownish and orangish. Uh, and then there's this one. This is generally the knockout standout. It's the one that gets my attention. It's a Squalmatic uh, 600 meter professional Swiss automatic dive watch. Uh, Model number Matic dash blue dash POL. Very, uh, <laughs> very original part number. So it is a 600 meter diver. Uh, it is, it will never go anywhere near that far. Look, I, I didn't even take the sticker off the back yet. Um, I'll see when I do. Uh, but again, I, I've always lusted after this watch. As you know, I have a thing for blue, and there's something about this blue. It's very different, it's like a turquoisey kind of blue. Uh, so let's go over the specs. It's 44 millimeters in diameter. It's 16 thick to that double dome sapphire here. It is 50 millimeters thick. It's a 22 millimeter lug. Comes on a nice tan leather strap with a squalet buckle. Nice perforated leather. It breathes very nice and it's, a, it's actually a very high quality, very nice strap. You can read some of the specifics there. Nice stitching on it. It complements the watch extremely well. There is a mesh bracelet, um, much like the one that's on my 1521, except it's uh, 22 millimeter, maybe a little bit thicker. I, uh, I might get that for this one, I'm not sure, but right now I'm certainly enjoying it on the leather. So it's powered by a Swiss Edda 2824-2 automatic movement. So it's, uh, you know, what is that, 25 joules, uh, automatic hand winder, uh, screw down crown, obviously, I'm unscrewing it. Um, hand winds, hacks, seconds hand stops, and I pull out the crown, and then you can set the date with one click out. Uh, so 
The standout, again, for me is the dial and just the finishing. The chapter ring is polished. Let's pull in on everything and check it out. So there you go. Check out the chapter ring. I, mean, I know it's kind of difficult. It's throwing, it's throwing reflections everywhere. And then the double dome, look at that domed crystal. It's a beautiful crystal with AR coating. I mean, it really, for a watch, it should be reflecting like crazy. It does a wonderful job. Because look at the markers. The markers are all polished. See that? They're polished markers, polished silver applied markers, and they throw reflections like crazy. There's a little bit of loom on the watch. And then to really, you know, balance out the watch itself, to make sure it's not too blue, if, that, if there's such a thing, the bezel. The bezel is, you know, obviously the top half matches almost the dial perfectly. And the bottom half is white, which it just adds another element or level to the watch that really just makes it interesting. Uh, definitely eye-popping and eye-catching. And then the sharp eye will say, well, what the hell is going on from 30 to 45? There's no markers. There's no reason for that. It's just, that's just the way it is. That's the design. You would not really use this for a dive watch or a you know, dive bezel. I mean, you could. It's 600 meters, water resistant, but it's just, I don't know. Again, to me, it's beautiful. It is a 60-click unidirectional bezel. Nice orange minutes hand, you know, for uh, for de denoting the minutes at, at a glance. Again, you know, reminiscent of a dive watch. And then here's the case back, and you can read everything there. Sapphire crystal, Swiss made, 60 Atmos, which is the 60 Atmospheres. It's the 60 Atmos lineup. The Squale logo for the uninitiated. Squale means shark in the dialect that, uh, in the dialect of the part of Italy where the brand is from. And then above the Squale logo, you see a uh, a family crest that's from the Von Buren family crest. That's the uh, the family that originally started the brand. Just beautiful. Uh, you saw my wrist check, uh, so I think I will finish it up there. Uh, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com again, thanking you for a very successful Black Friday weekend. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions, comments, you picked anything up, you want to talk about it, put it down below, and I will be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.